Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today I'm going to do a features inspection on one of the biggest, if not the biggest, express cruiser that we've done, the Neptunus 650E. Now, this is for someone that wants the luxury accommodations and comfort of a flybridge cruiser with the lower profile of an express cruiser. The cockpit represents what is probably going to be the first of our many gathering areas, and it's spacious and welcoming. Beautifully finished table on pedestal, bench seating across the back. Moving forward, there are two modules to the starboard side, sink, serving area. Freshwater washdown is conveniently located next to the freshwater sink. Underneath, storage. Electric grill and storage to the opposite side. Now this is under the protection of an overhead that comes out three feet, 10 inches, and it's seven feet, 10 inches off the deck. We can also extend a shade from the trailing edge of it to give us a little more protection. Now take a look at this. Because this boat has a CE Category A ocean rating, 44 inch high bulwarks, how's that for safety? Now already, before we even get in the yacht, we're seeing impeccable fit and finish. Look at this table, choose cherry or mahogany. Excellent finish work and inlay work. Look at this flagstaff. Stairs to both sides of the cockpit are protected by stainless steel frame gates and they lead down to the swim platform. Let's take a look at that. The platform comes out five feet, four inches from the transom in the center section. Now notice there's another eight inch piece that comes out to give you a rail to hang on to while you're swimming in the area or just enjoying your tender up against the platform. The platform is hydraulically actuated so we can lower it to form a private beach or to launch that tender. Now at the bow, there's a lounge area, measures 86 inches by 72 inches. There are rails to both sides with integrated beverage holders. Now there are accommodations for making these headpieces come up into Shay's lounge positions. This owner requested that they just be in fixed positions. Now as we come inside, we've got aft doors that open up a full 5 feet 11 inches and because Neptunus has moved the galley to the aft area, we create a transition between the two serving areas of the galley and the aft deck. That usually is enough for most boat builders, but Neptunus has seemed to have taken everything to the next level by making this island table extend further out into the cockpit area. And we've got a chair that now was forward, moved aft, and it really does create a seamless transition between the inside and the outside, much more than just opening a door. Because of the CEA Ocean rating, she's made to be offshore, which means bar stools need to be secured to the deck. But in addition to securing to the deck, they will also swivel in and out of position, so you don't have to undo that securing to the deck. This is an open and airy room with an unprecedented 7 foot 11 inch high overhead. Have not seen something that high before. Right as we enter, battery switches and lighting controls are all right on the inside so we can light the boat up and turn everything on right as we enter. Over on the port hand side, storage credenza, another storage credenza just ahead. This one also includes a wine chiller and beautifully finished walnut woodwork with raised edges going around. It's a gloss finish on it. Looks beautiful and it's trimmed all around the windows. Just excellent fit and finish already being seen through this boat. Notice how the drawers are all soft close and they close click to the latched position. Don't usually see that. They usually close just a bit and then you've got to push them to latch them. Coffee machine, espresso, that's standard on this boat. Now for this model year, the galley's been moved aft and to starboard. We already talked about how it makes a seamless transition to the aft deck, but let's go over some of the features. Quartz countertop, the cooktop has fiddles to hold all your cooking utensils in place. Microwave above, convection oven down below. And I'm happy to see that there's an extraction fan just up above. Single basin stainless steel sink, corner mounted into the quartz countertop. Dishwasher, plenty of storage all around, and I like full-size refrigerator as well. Before I get too far into the interior of the boat, there are a lot of nice features that I'm already seeing. Thoughtful touches from Neptunus. For one, bug screen at the sliding door. We don't usually see that. Next, nice little spot in the cabinet to drop your keys without scratching the beautiful finish. The latching mechanism on the refrigerator, just lift it up and then open, and then when you close the door, it latches automatically. Again, CE rating, you don't have to deal with it. All of the LED lights are not only dimmable, they swivel. 
And the storage isn't just storage. For example, look at right here. It's a pull-out tray with sorters inside. Even this one, right alongside, sorters for holding the glassware. And just above, notice the construction of the drawer. This is maple wood. There's thoughtful uses of space all across this boat. Here we have it right behind this panel underneath the window and look at this. Manually actuated shades instead of electrical. Here's another clever use of space. This notch would allow you to utilize what would otherwise be dead space. Moving into the salon up to nine inch steps and we lose very little of our overhead clearance. Went from 7.11 in the galley area to seven feet two inches in the salon area. Seating, opposing seating starts with a sofa, and a love seat, leather upholstery. It's a glass coffee table with two ottomans that can pull out. And notice that they're notched so that they hold in position against the pedestal for the table. And there's also storage underneath. 50 inch TV over to the port hand side. And it's rather unique that we finally see a TV built in so it's always viewable and we don't have to have it rising out of a cabinet. No need for that. Dinette over on the port hand side, L-shaped with custom upholstery two-tone in the leather. The beautifully finished walnut table is expandable so we can take two of the stools from the island in the galley and move them to this area and now we've created seating for six at this table. Notice it's on an elevated platform and there is storage underneath the platform. To both port and starboard, manually opening side windows and take a look down below here. Central vacuum. Fully opening aft doors, opening side windows if we want to even bring more of the outside in. It's an opening sunroof. Neptunus just takes their fit and finish to the next level. Like take for example these helm seats. They're from Pompanet and everybody else would just call it a day and say Pompanet seats. Three components go into these seats. The pedestals are from Italy, the seats are from Pompanet, and the upholstery is custom from Peterson's upholstery. Now let's move down below to the accommodations and I'll tell you, there's a lot to like down here. Eight inch high steps, polished stainless steel risers, pin lights lighting every step of the way, glass to the side of the stairs, leather wrapped banister, just so much quality work here. Now look at how nicely lit this atrium area is thanks to this opened overhead trimmed with high gloss walnut and then all of this beautifully finished walnut. These two doors open for stacked washer and dryer. Right alongside, storage for product. Just above is mechanical access. Now, let's get to the master. Now, the master is located aft and it's full beam. The berth is center mounted and facing aft, 78 inches by 71 inches. Headroom right here. We're looking at six feet, five inches, which leaves us four feet, one inch over the berth. Boy, there's certainly a lot to talk about here. First of all, let's start with the storage to both sides, storage credenzas, more of the high gloss walnut, hull side windows with an opening port light. Now remember this boat has a CEA certification, so this isn't just glass, this is very thick glass. I can't measure it obviously, but it is thick. You can feel it, you can hear it, you can see it. Structural beams going three feet forward and then high and low and then it continues to the aft side making this a structural part of the hull. Nightstands, small but functional because there's storage underneath the surface of the nightstand. This would be a good spot for an inductive charger to drop your cell phone and I really like the sconce lighting to both sides. Intricate headboard with Alcantara suede. Lights just above are individually controllable for each side, so you have down reading lights for both his and her. Over to the opposite side, there's another storage credenza. I've seen that get swapped out for a settee right underneath the hull side window. Let's talk more about storage. There are drawers underneath the berth to both sides. The front of the berth lifts to reveal storage underneath as well as an owner's safe. To both sides of the stateroom, cedar lined hanging lockers. And then look at this, a fully cedar-lined walk-in closet. Now let's talk about fit and finish. The 42-inch flat screen TV is mounted to a walnut high-gloss finish bulkhead, rail just in front, leather wrapped, 
there are panels to both sides and notice that the grains are contrasting to the vertical grain on this bulkhead and I also like the contrasting lines in between the panels. And look at the doors in addition to the high gloss, leather inlay, stainless steel trim, stainless steel door poles, and even the new style fire extinguisher indicators. The head, again, beautiful fit and finish. Looks like onyx to the bulkhead, it's not, but it's got that look to it. Vessel sink on top of the counter, storage underneath, and there's storage above in mirrored cabinets, and you open these and they go remarkably deep. Mirrored ceiling, opening port light, the walk-in shower actually has an air conditioning vent in it. And let's not forget, full-length mirror to the inside of the door. Now, continuing forward back into the foyer area, and I can't help but notice again, the beautiful fit and finish. Leather inlay work on the doors, the stainless steel trim, heavy-duty hardware, and beautiful fit and finish all the way through. Now, let's check out the VIP stateroom. This is laid out in the typical fashion with an island berth accessible from both sides. Berth measures 78 inches by 58 inches average in the center. Ceiling height again, nicely laid out at six feet seven inches, which leaves us an average of three feet five inches in the center. More of the beautiful sconce lighting, the Alcantara suede headboard that we saw earlier in the master stateroom. I like that there's storage above the port light a lot of manufacturers just seem to not utilize that space, but here it's put to good use. We've got additional hanging locker, cedar lined. This is repeated to the opposite side. This is a nice area. Finished bulkhead with a shelf for putting stuff, and then the TV just above. Now, the head, we have a private ensuite. Storage both above and below the counter. Vessel sink and opening port light walk-in shower with a teak grate at the bottom of it. Now back out, we've got another door right here, and this is the day head, easily accessible from the stairway, and it's also got a separate walk-in shower and a separate door to the final stateroom. The berth measures seven feet by four feet, four inches. Headroom in this stateroom, six feet, seven inches, which over the berth translates to three feet, 11 inches, 24 inch TV, nestled into the cabinetry up above. And I also have a cedar line storage locker. And I noticed that the door to the shared head is a sliding door. That saves a lot of space. We've also got a crew space on this boat, which if you were an owner operator and taking care of everything yourself, didn't have a paid crew, this could also be another stateroom. So let's take a look at it. We access it from a door right in the transom. This stateroom includes a single berth, storage underneath. There's a storage locker directly across along with a sink, small galley area, and a wet head. Now it's important to note that Neptunus doesn't make production yachts. These are customizable yachts. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Neptunus will even move bulkheads if that's something you want to do. I have seen where the third stateroom has become an office space, put a washer dryer in there, open up the whole overhead behind the console so that the office space is now opened up. Pretty much anything is left to the imagination and it's doable. And that's my full features inspection of the Neptunus 650E. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.